The Gary Chicago International Airport was rehabilitation of runway 1230. It was a fast-paced project. It consisted of repaving the existing runway, milling the existing asphalt runway, and overlaying with concrete. What was most challenging about it was the short time frame. So uh, Gary Airport lost their, uh, their primary runway uh, for a, what was planned to be 30 days and eight hours. It was a significant amount of work, replacing roughly half of the runway, complete replacement, and uh, the newer runway was a higher elevation than the old runway. So we had to work around all those constraints and we had to get all that work done in a very short time frame. Superior Construction and our team likes to take on challenging, complex projects. We like unique projects that require a lot of planning and coordination from our subs and suppliers. The biggest challenges that Ozinga faced was logistics of bringing in material, stockpiling, and then moving material. With 3,000 yards a day, there's a lot of material coming in and out of the yard. Uh, we wanted to do that safely, and we also wanted to be able to give Superior the cubic yardage uh, that they were looking for. The main challenges on this project were definitely schedule and, and the material deliveries. Ozinga prides themselves on being able to do things that other ready-mix manufacturers can't or find difficult. So our relationship with Superior really relies on that because Superior finds themselves doing a lot of the same thing. Superior and Ozinga have a long history of completing uh, complicated projects together. This project specifically required a tremendous amount of materials to be delivered in a short period of time. So even at bid time, we coordinated with Ozinga extremely closely. Um, we talked about location of a potential batch plant. We talked about cubic yardage. Coordinating with them, we decided to go with the mobile batch plant idea on site within miles of the project. So by putting in a portable batch plant uh, here at the airport, it allowed us to get concrete on a much faster uh, pace so the, the trucks didn't have to drive miles down the street through traffic, through a bunch of lights. It was probably a round trip of a mile.